Hello everyone. Hope everyone is doing fine. Uh, today, uh, let's talk about package management with Python and virtual environment. So what is package management? Let's say you don't want to code everything for yourself. Uh, there are a lot of uh, stuff which is already coded, which is already available. Uh, there are a lot of tools as such, uh, which we regularly make use of. Let's say you want to do some REST calls. You might be aware, uh, heard of you know, REST API. In Linux, we use curl. In Windows, uh, we use invoke REST method. We can also use curl, but that is just a renaming of invoke REST method there. So if you want to do all that, you don't have to go ahead and you know uh, recreate your own program or something. There are a lot of uh, good people who have worked hard and a lot of people have contributed to these packages. Um, if you're doing data science stuff, then you have NumPy, SciPy, you know, SciPy. You might have heard of them. Similar way, so we will look at some packages. First, what do you use? PIP. So PIP stands for PIP Int Package Manager or something of that sort. I forget. So first, let's say PIP minus minus version here. I'm doing Adam uh, here, not uh, the regular Jupyter Lab because you can't have uh, you can't do PIP there. So PIP version tells you PIP version and PIP install package name uh, is how you install package. So I will do pip install requests. It says request, um, it's already met. Let me install pip freeze. If you do pip freeze, it will give you all the packages which are installed on my system. There are so many packages, right? Let's say you want to install a specific version of pip let's go ahead and uh, see what is that which we can uninstall and reinstall easily let's uh, choose request itself pip um, install or pip uninstall okay pip uninstall request let's see whether uninstall is a Match word, yes. Okay, we uninstalled it. And what we will do here is pip install requests. Yeah, so it installs it. Well, let me go ahead and uninstall again. What if I want to install a specific version of it? Instead of 2.21, I want to install pip install requests one uh 2.20 is it there no oh, okay it's there so let me go ahead and remove that again yes what if you want to install something a package which is greater than the version that you want you are okay with a version of the package which is let's say 2.x and above so you can do that as well pip install requests greater than or equal to 2.21 dot zero there you go here let's uninstall it again yes what if you want to install something uh, less than that so what you do here is less than or equal to 2.21 yep Let's uninstall it again. Uh, what if we want to install uh, 1.2.x? We want 1.2, but 1.2.x, uh, it can be 1.2. I'm very particular about the main version that is 1, and uh, the secondary, like, you know, uh, version that is 1.2 1.2 1 1.9 and all this is major version but after whatever that comes after the second dot that is a third um, verse third versioning uh, position that's all considered as minor let's say pip install requests 
equals 1.2. So here I'm saying install any version which is 1.2.x. Okay, let's go ahead and install it again. And let's pip install requests. Yep. Python comes with a virtual environment. You can use this virtual env. Now, let's say there is a scenario where you are working on multiple projects. Few projects require um, a version of Python um, that is a version of a package. It's a request that is 2.0. Let's say there is another project which requires the requests package of 1.2 or some other package. So you want to have multiple versions of the package on your system. But what happens is when you're run, uh, testing the project A or project B, it will give you error because you can't have multiple versions of the same package. So that is where you create virtual environment. Just like virtual machine in programming, in Python programming, you create virtual environment. You can install pip install virtual env if this package is already not there but it's already there so what i will do here virtual env i will go ahead and write venv zero yeah as you can see here it is installing the python package let it install and i will show you something else let me open another console here. Hmm, not in the Docker. Okay, here it's. Let me create it here. Now, Atom, let's say dummy.txt, because if you want to open a terminal in Atom in the same directory, you have to select a file and then click on this. Then it opens there. Yeah, I can, I think, bring it all up here till then. So I think it's done anyway. Okay, so let's do it here. LS. And how do you activate it? If you just do venv scripts activate. That's it. Now you see here. So this is how you know you have activated a virtual environment and you are in a virtual environment. In bracket, you will see the name of the virtual environment. Then, if you do pip freeze, as you can see, there are uh, no packages here. But in my regular system, that is without outside of the virtual environment, there are uh, a lot of packages. That is pip freeze. So it is isolated from the packages which are there in my system, right? So. Let me go ahead and uh, create another virtual environment here. I will say python hyphen m venv venv1. So this is another way. The venv is another tool which is used to create you now virtual environments. Again, here uh, one more thing. You can mention if you have a different version of Python installed. Uh, let's say Python 2.x is also available, Python 3.x is also available, then you can say Python 3 minus M, VENV, VENV1, or whatever name that you want to give here, right? So LS, yeah, VENV, oh, no, no, no. I want to do here one. All right, here it's green. It's just, you know, virtual environment created by VENV is green. Here it's normal color. But now, I mean, it's not going to make any difference. I'm just, uh, that's how they have implemented it. I mean, depends on, you know, what console you're using anyway. So these are two methods how you create virtual environments. Let me go ahead and install pip, install um, flask.
that is in VE and V1. Okay, so while that is being done, let me show you one thing here. I'll say deactivate. Just run deactivate anywhere, and it will deactivate that. Unless I want to activate it again. Okay. Let's see what happened here. Install, you are using pip version 10.1. However, you can upgrade it. Okay, let's go ahead and upgrade that pip. I think pip abbreviation in Python stands for uh, something like uh, pip isn't package manager or, or, or something like that. So somehow I can't remember the life of me. So here, then we are here. But if I say pip freeze here, there's nothing. Yeah, this is a different virtual environment, VE and V0. In VE and V1, I will do a pip freeze. I have Flask. Now it should list Flask and all the other dependency packages. Flask 1.0.2. Yep. So in this manner, you can go ahead and have multiple versions. Okay, let me go ahead and install different version of Flask here. Pip install Flask less than. 1.0.2 let's see what happens hmm okay pip freeze pip freeze let's see what is the version that it installed here flask 1.0.1 and here, as you can see, it's 1.0.2. So now you have different versions of Flask packages on your system and two different virtual environment. So you don't have to worry about them conflicting each other. So how do you... Okay, deactivate. How do I get rid of them? Just delete them. Right click, delete our... I'm in Windows, so... I will do this. Done. Well, while they are being deleted, you can uh, go ahead and digest what I said. I will go ahead and update few notes of it um, uh, in, in the format of uh, JupyterLab notebook. You can look at my GitHub code repository there and you will be able to you know, download them. You can pull that there. All right then, uh, thank you for tuning in. You have a great one.